Hi guys, this is Ben Glishton with SI.com, and I'm here with your SEC Spring Football Primer. They may not have played for the national championship last season, but I'm going to start with a team that's at the top of everyone's list, heading into every spring. I'm talking about Alabama. And the top storyline for the Crimson Tide this year? The offense. Out is coordinator Doug Nussmeyer, who's gone to Michigan. And in is a familiar and perhaps controversial face. Nick Saban has brought on Lane Kiffin to run the offense, and he has no shortage of issues to address. That starts at quarterback, where A.J. McCarron, who's been the face of the Tide for each of the last three seasons, is gone to the NFL. Now, Blake Sims and a number of other players will compete to replace him this spring, but the guy to keep an eye on, once he arrives on campus in the summer, is Jacob Coker, who's transferring from Florida State. The other storyline to keep an eye on with this Alabama team is running back. Sophomore Derrick Henry, who broke out in the Sugar Bowl, will look to take on a bigger role, but he'll split time with T.J. Yeldon. No matter who's getting the majority of the carries, Alabama should be one of the top teams in the SEC heading into the fall. The next program I want to talk about might not be, and they're coming off one of the most disastrous seasons in recent history. I'm talking about Florida, which finished 4-8 in 2013, where basically everything went wrong. People got hurt, and Will Muschamp is squarely on the hot seat heading into 2014. Now, there's a couple of things to keep an eye on here, but I mainly want to focus on the offense, as the Gators have a new offensive coordinator, Kurt Roper, who came over from Duke during the winter. Now, Roper will look to make major changes to an offense that was literally running into itself last year. But one of the biggest question marks is at quarterback. Jeff Driscoll returns after suffering a season-ending broken fibula last year, but he'll have to fend off Will Greer, an early enrollee who threw 195 touchdowns over his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons in high school. This will be something to monitor moving forward as the Gators look to save Will Muschamp's job. Finally, I want to talk about two teams that were SEC frontrunners last year, but have major holes to fill entering this spring. The first of those is Auburn, which is fresh off a magical season in which it played for the BCS championship. Now, Auburn returns a bunch of key pieces, including quarterback Nick Marshall, but the biggest holes to fill, running back Trey Mason, who was invited to the Heisman ceremony last year, and offensive lineman Greg Robinson, who should be an early NFL draft pick. The other team to monitor, Texas A&M, who loses quarterback Johnny Manziel, offensive lineman Jake Matthews, and wide receiver Mike Evans. At quarterback, the Aggies have two top options, early enrollee Kyle Allen, and returning redshirt freshman, Kenny Hill. Look for one of those guys to try to separate himself in spring practice. It seems college football these days begins and ends with the SEC, and spring practice is no different. For SI.com, I'm Ben Glixman.